As the Ukrainian army advances on all fronts, Ukrainian leader Zelensky continues to meet with world leaders. This is the most active time of the war, with the Ukrainian army launching a counteroffensive. Critical developments are taking place on all fronts where the fighting is intense. Ukraine's well-prepared counterattack has cornered the Russian army. The main targets of the Ukrainian army's advance on the Zaporozhye front line were the cities of Berdyansk, Melitopol, Mariupol and Tokhmak. The Ukrainian army is giving Russian troops a nightmare on these fronts. According to the latest reports, targets in the city of Tokhmak have been hit by Ukrainian artillery. The Ukrainian army hit the Russian positions in the city with HIMARS missiles. It is reported that the integrity of the Russian troops stationed in the positions has been disrupted and there has been a dissolution. Another development is from Berdyansk. The Ukrainian army has recently significantly increased its attacks on the Berdyansk with the wave of attacks that started in recent days. Berdyansk has turned into hell. Within a day, 11 points belonging to the Russian army were hit with storm shadow missiles used by Ukraine. The Ukrainian army has carried out significant attacks in the Russian-occupied territories in the last 24 hours. According to the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, Ukrainian aircraft shut down eight Russian personnel and carried out another attack on the Russian anti-aircraft missile system. Ukraine's rocket forces and artillery units to track a group of Russian personnel, weapons and equipment, an ammunition storage point, six artillery units, and three electronic warfare systems. The Ukrainian army continues to weaken the Russian army in Ukraine. The latest developments in Bakhmut, which has long been the most important front in the war, have demonstrated that the success of the Ukrainian army According to the latest reports, Ukrainian forces continue to maintain momentum on the Bakhmut front, putting pressure on the enemy, carrying out of offensive actions, and advancing along the northern and southern flanks. The Ukrainian army has achieved a significant success, advancing more than one kilometer on the front in the last 24 hours. Another update from Bakhmut came from Colonel General Alexander Siriskiri commander of the ground forces of the armed forces of Ukraine. Sriyskiri reported that the Ukrainian army is advancing in Bakhmut and has recaptured some areas captured by the Russian army. The Ukrainian general explained the details of the advance. While fighting continues on the front line, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky continues to meet with world leaders. In a meeting with Czech President Petro Pavel, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky expressed that he expects a clear signal from the NATO summit to be held in Vilnius, the capital of Lithuania, on his country's NATO membership. Zelensky emphasized Ukraine's expectations on NATO membership and expressed his hope that concrete steps would be taken at the summit. What do you think about the latest developments? How do you assess the course of the Ukrainian army's counteroffensive? Will the Ukrainian army be able to completely liberate Bakhmut? Please share your thoughts in the comments. To reach all action links to stand reliable worldwide, please don't forget to follow and like us.